What up, what up? You already know what it is. It's your boy Latria, aka Richard. New name, Richard. We stamping and improving it right now on Dominate Roller TV. Yeah, you know what time it is. It's Richard time. The Richard way. I thought it was old, 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 old. I'ma show you, I'ma show you, I'ma dominate roll What's up, this Charlie with Dominant Roller TV. We got a little trill in the building. What's going on, man? Man, what up with a nigga? You know what the business is. Already, man. First off, I want to appreciate I want to just tell you I appreciate you for coming. That's 100. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. I appreciate talk. you for letting me get on here, do my thing, spend my knowledge to the folk and everything. Already, Shit, man. 100 from you. you know? Already, man. Look, man. So, like, tell me, what, what brings you in town? Shit, right now, shit. I really came down here for some more. Some more. Full gays, that cool shit. Nigga lied on the nigga. I nigga all kind of charges. Got my cousin in jail. My sister move all the way to Texas and shit. Thinking the police finna get that shit. But man, some old lame ass nigga. Some lame shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just, you know. Shit, I'm gonna be straight. Both of you. Because it's a lie. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, but, I mean, it's all for the. I guess the people the judge or what the judge or the jury because I'm going all the way to the feds with me. Yeah, I'm going to the feds. Right, yeah, man. I gotta go to the feds because at the end of the day they can't really you can't really pinpoint me on nothing like that because I ain't do nothing that they're accusing me of. All right, man. Well, I hope everything go well with that, man. Sure, sure. You get out of that safely and you know secure. Oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Gucci wow. What I've been doing is. Putting videos out there, feeding them, not just the music. I ain't getting them the music, I ain't getting them no visual. I'm gonna give you a taste of it. Mm -hmm. So that's why it was like a clip long, like maybe like the a, mini long. Yeah, the mini I'm, long. I'm gonna give you the mini long. Like some songs I, I've been doing lately, just the mini. Mm -hmm. So it's not a full, not, not like hook, some of them verse. I don't even do the full song until I put that bitch on Instagram and they say they put them hot, them hot signs under that bitch, right. hearts under that bitch. <laughs> or something. Right, they let right, me right. know. All right, right. They, they fucking with this bitch. I got you. So you let give, me give a little sample first. Right. Okay. So when you was, you was like, man, damn, you won't come with. Do you got a single? Like, I want the people to pick the single. Mm. I don't want to pick the single because I like all my shit. I can <laughs> right. listen to my shit all day and feel like the business hits. But I want right. the people. So, I want a nigga to be like, man, that bitch the one. A uh, female, that bitch the one. And I want multiple people to do that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not just me say, you know, that bitch, they'll put all my money behind that bitch and then we'll be back in square one. Right. So I'm saying like, um, like all the ones that you put out already, like, like which one you getting the most feedback on? I got a song called I'm All My. It's All My is on um, the Trill Fam album, the new Trill Fam that came out, the new release, one of the new releases or whatever. Mm -hmm. Why? Boosie, Webby, you know, the whole fam on there, and, you know. Right. Publicity, you know, all that, that all yeah. that add on. These million dollar dudes, I'm on the CD, they gon' see this, and they fucking with it. So, you right. know, I'm getting the most impact from the shit that we putting the most money behind. You mm -hmm. know? Man, tell me, so I'm saying, like, how how was it coming up in the era? Like, you were young when when Boosie and Webby was really just hits back to back. I mean, they still doing the same thing. They still making hits, but I'm saying, like, how was that coming up? Like, that young, seeing all of that hands on. I mean, it's just like coming up in the trap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? OJ cooking, they get money too. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, Everybody, right. Get, I mean, it's it's really just the same. It's just a different way people get money. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Some people get, they people got real estate. They already got it. You know what I'm saying? It's right. just, I was able to come up around. My dad, he wanted to make a music company, get out of the, you know, what they was doing. Or whatever, got some young artists and made them hat. Put all their money behind them and made them hat. Right. And I was just able to be a son, just like Lil Fat. Right. You know what I'm your, your dad's a Turk? My dad is Turk and Mel right. is Lil Fat dad. Okay. So you just able to be uh, in the shit, in the loop. Thank God. You know right. I mean, really though, like. Hey, thank God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's a blessing every day. Mm -hmm. Waking up, you know, like you say. How it was, it was, you know, it's just like waking up in the trap. I mean, I mean, it's just life, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank God. What was the first song you you dropped on the Triller and Simon? Mm -hmm. My first song, my first song I actually did was called "Let Me Do My Thing." Yeah. Be real. Shout out to my dog. Be real. Be real. That's my new one, producer. I love him. You know, he did yeah. my first beat. Like I said, "Let Me Do My Thing." Yeah, and the song was actually wrote by somebody else, Big Head. 
Oh, really? He was one of the, you know, like, wow. him, Shell is a big influence on me with mm -hmm. the, as far as the music. Yeah. Because he used to, he the reason, like, what song he did for me? Um, I don't think none of the songs ever came out, but it was just, I guess it was my practice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it got to a point where he was like, I ain't writing no more songs for you. You got to write your own songs. Right, right. And that's what my growth and all that came, you know what I'm saying, doing my own songs. So the, the first song I put out myself was called Get It, Get It with me and Whitney. Okay. And that, was, that made a big impact on the young, you know, generation because I was young. Right, and yeah. I had did a, um, I did a concert. It was, I think it was a battle of bands or something like that. We brought all the calls out on the field and everything. Boosa came out, Whitney came out, Fox, the whole trail family. And this one, everything was popping, you know what I'm saying? When yeah. It, everything's still popping. I'm just... Right, right, right. As far as... You know, as far as people element outside looking in type shit. Right. You know what I mean? But, um, so, man, I, I have a question. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, I got to mention this. Okay. Lil Fat. You know what I'm saying? Lil Fat, they put me on the dummy way. That was mm -hmm. 3D. That was their first mixtape, 365. Yeah. You go look it up, the dummy way. I do it, the dummy. That was my first song. My okay. first song. My first song we ever put out. And okay. they put my name on. I didn't even know my name at first. My name was Lil Turk at first. Oh, really? My dad's name was Turk. But Damn. I thought about, you know, Cash Money, Turk, and, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I guess, you know, I'm Lit Trill now, you know. But right. now my name's gonna be Richard, because I've been living. I've been living. So, my name Richard now, you know. Richard. Hey, man, man how you, yeah. who did your hair, man? Like, shout out to my girl Key out there in Atlanta. <laughs> I literally got money on my head. Literally got money on my head, like. That way, you know, the so, money way, rich way. You ever think you'll cut your hair, bro? You've been having hair like since forever. Uh, I've been, uh, I've been having this. Uh, <laughs> like, I, I, I feel play when the ball cut too much at the back, like. Right. You know. I, so you I, have dreads now, or you, it's strictly braids? Well, these braids. Right. I these mean, these braids. You know, like I can take it down. It's gonna be a big old fro. Everybody think those uh dreads that I'm doing, but them two strand twists. You know what I'm saying? And we doing it in a different way. I can't get everybody my uh, cause I already see people trying to steal my swag. But I gotta, you know, stamp the trail first. You know what I'm saying? Right. The money on my head type. You know, they, everybody gonna. Uh, I already watching y'all, uh, watching my trend. I just I gotta stamp it certified first, then I'm gonna put it out there for y'all. So man, really, like really, um, in my eyes, especially in Baton Rouge, I, I would say that you're um hip hop royalty. That's what I was saying. What that mean? I'm saying like you, 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 one of the the only ones that I know that was young that came up under legends. You know what I mean? Like I'm, not, I know Boosie. Uh, did he come up under? He came up under CeeLo, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm, you like you were younger than him once we started hearing about Lil Trill. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say hip hop, Roy. Well, but you, you, I don't really classify me as that. Okay. But People that I go around, people tell me all the time, man, you're a legend, man. You came up with Boosie. Wait a minute, this is right. not one city. I go multiple cities. I'm really like a superstar, really. Right. But I really don't, I don't treat myself like a superstar. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that a superstar is supposed to do, I guess. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just being me. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you telling me that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's real, that's real spill. Like, right. I don't know nobody like that. And I'm gifted to be in that position. And you just fucked me up with that. So now I'm finna make a song about that. <laughs> like, you just fucked me up with that. Yeah. Like, it's to the point where I'm just blessed to be in the position and I'm kind of like webby with it. Mm -hmm. What do you mean when you say that? Still want to be normal. Okay. Like, can you, what you mean, like, like, still trying to be normal? Like, at this point, can you be normal? I mean, you you're gonna be, be yourself, but you're gonna be your, you're gonna be yourself, but it's always gonna be somebody watching. Right. It's always gonna be. You can go anywhere, man. You might walk in a store, man. You'll be in a city you've never been in before. Right. You walk in the store, somebody just out the blue tape. Man, you lit trail. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Like for example, I'm in Atlanta one day. Me and my girl, we chilling. When um, what is it called Papa Do's? Mm -hmm. Papa Do's just chilling. Why do come out of nowhere? Man, literally, I heard your song. Man, totally, dude. Man, you the coolest <laughs> on the show. On, showing off. I'm like, damn. Like, right. They was fucking with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's, yeah. just, that's just letting me know the nigga made an impact on the world and on the people and just trying to make a bigger impact. You know? Yeah. You ain't to the point where Michael Jackson couldn't go outside it sometimes. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. Still trying to be normal. 
You did? Okay, I feel you, man. Um, so you you've been in Atlanta quite a while now, right? Yeah, I've been in Atlanta for like um, I'm gonna say five to seven years. Okay, how how is it out there compared to Baton Rouge? I mean, everybody got money. Everybody. You know, hating. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody get money. You know, five females. You know, and there ain't too many tenderness going on around there. And um, what else? It's bigger. I mean. Shit, it's just, I mean, I can't say it's more lava because I know more people here. You know, I love mm -hmm. my city to the max because I'm here right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always got to come back. It's just, I can't stay here. Got to have a safe haven, then you go play haven. You feel me? Right. Play yeah. haven, safe haven. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you look up in the eight chill, voodoo, you know, do whatever. Come yeah. back out chill, fuck off, wild, whatever. Mm -hmm. Go back to the eight chill. Nobody know where you at. Yeah. Nothing. Just chill. Then, if you want to bring your people, anybody, it's just good for everybody. And then you got a long distance. Okay. You know, <laughs> long distance. <laughs> yeah. So, man, like, what's what's some new stuff that we uh, should be looking forward coming um, from the little trip? Well, my bad, Richie Rich. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a, I was going to drop the Rich because I didn't want to act like I was the cartoon and then I didn't want right. to try to play me like I'm the cartoon and then. Richie, I'm gonna go to Richie. It's mm -hmm. gonna be the Richie way. Like, you niggas hollering, uh, what they call it? What the nigga be saying? That way. But it was always the dumb way. You get what I'm saying? Right. Nigga just stole a nigga swag, so uh, it's the Richie way now. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I'm coming. Big brother, shout out to Savage Life. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Savage Life. He gave me the name. He stamped me with the name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Webb is stamped me with the name. Everywhere I went, he called me Richie. He wasn't calling me literally. Everywhere I go, he's Richie. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So he stamped me with the name the certified dead. It's Richard now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all the first interview to get this stamped and certified. So yeah. Already, man. It's Richard now. Yeah. So yeah. look, man, we, we shot uh we shot you on FaceTime. Mm -hmm. And uh you said some stuff. I don't know if you were joking right. or you was just I I battled with the high school, bitch. I paid for my diploma. Put that on that motherfucking interview, nigga. Yeah, yeah, diamond and roller TV, you already know what the motherfucking bill is here. Said some stuff. I don't know if you were joking or you was just all the way man, serious. Say, I be man, I, you say what I was doing on there. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I be loaded. I have fun. I'm living life, man. But I wanted to ask you. You said you say uh you say I, I didn't get a diploma. You know I dropped out in middle school. Did you actually drop out in middle school? I I actually did. See? I actually dropped out. Well, let me give you. I'm gonna give you a breakdown of this. Um, I was in school. You know, like you say, I grew up in this. Right. And I was on the White Man Island video shoot all that, you know, when it was really popping. Mm -hmm. I was going to Westdale Middle, you know. Totally yeah. normal. You know what I'm saying? But right. I couldn't be normal at this time, man. I had all the love at the school. I had all the love. I can't say I didn't have all the love. Right. Because we got in a situation where somebody tried to fight me and everybody crawled it. Everybody whooped them. I'm talking about whooped them. So, yeah. bam, the next day, it was just, it was just so crazy I got expelled. Or whatever, somebody mm -hmm. read it. That's when you learn about rats and all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, bam, my dad, I had to end up moving with my dad because I couldn't go to school. You know, and I was already doing the music, so I didn't want to cut my hair. And that was going to take my image and take everything from me. So, we um end up moving to Atlanta. I got homeschooled, paid for it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm very smart. I'm intelligent. You know? I yeah. Count money very fast. That's all I really need to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, um. Word. So you did, you did. I do got a diploma school, though. I can pull okay. my diploma out. Like I done walk across the stage and everything. Okay. But it's just not as far as how people. Y'all had to go. People went to prom. You know, I didn't get to go you to didn't prom. You get the experience all that. Yeah. I get the experience to high school. That's why I said it. Okay, you know okay. You know what I'm saying? I do got a diploma though. I ain't finna let these folks just, uh, if this rapping don't work for me, I ain't gonna have no, no backup plan. Right. That would be that guy. Come on, man. Stop playing. What, what kind of code is that? Is it like a mink? I don't really know what it is. I just liked it. I felt it. The girl felt it. I bought this a nice little minute ago. I couldn't even fit it. Not oh, really? Fit it. And thirty-two hundred dollars a couple. Man. Thirty-two hundred dollars. Make it. Got to do what it do. You know what I mean? We didn't. Boy, we had some nice in this coat, boy. You know, boy. <laughs> so, so man, look. Boy, you know what this boy. <laughs> Yo. Hey, you don't want you don't want to catch this cold late night. Yeah, I'm just letting you know that. Now. You get to see an all black nigga, just a dumb black nigga with this bitch. Right. Man, you do not want to see this bitch at night. I'm just letting you know that now. So man, 
Man, you rich, bro. So like, I ain't rich. No, I'm saying your rich. name. You're you're rich. All right, I'm you rich. know what I mean? Rich. So, oh, wow. I mean, like 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 I said, like just outside looking in, I feel like you you, you grew up hip hop royalty. You 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 in a good position from a young age. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What was your first car? I had um I had a Camaro. My actual first car that was for me mm -hmm. was a Camaro, but I started driving Bentleys and all that before. Man, I was 15. I ain't telling you, it's facts. Man, I was pulling up in the hood. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Drop Bentley, man. 15, 16, man. Facts. Drop <laughs> Bentley, man. Yo, car. Man, drop Bentley, man. Rolls Royces, man. All that, man. 16, man. Wow. Driving all the way to Atlanta, man. People putting signs to the window. Are you with Trillin? Man, yeah, real talk. This real facts. I got, man, I got videos, all this shit. This facts, man. This ain't no, nigga ain't no play, play. You know, that way, now we drive big vans, big, big everything. It's big shit now. We just do big shit, try to run over nigga shit. We ain't trying to play all that fat, right. big shit. Run you over. <laughs> man, uh, screw up, man. Uh, uh, that way. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, uh, man. All right, so like, uh, do you have any singles coming out? Um, at this moment, I'm going to let the people pick the single, mm -hmm. but... I'm finna start dropping a whole lot of music. I'm finna start dropping a whole lot of music. I'm gonna start dropping a whole lot of, like, I've been trying to do like three songs a day. Okay. When I'm at home, just doing three songs a day. I probably got 47 songs on my iPhone since I lost my laptop. I had like 50 songs on now. Just, everything was mixed and everything. Now I gotta get everything mixed back mm -hmm. again. I gotta. Like, you have certain shit. engineers that you go to when you're getting everything mixed and mastered? I gotta do it in. Atlanta, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, and I feel like he got the best song for me right now. Okay. I mean, I ain't, I ain't saying that I found Drake or uh, engineer yet, but Word. if I can get Drake engineer or Migos in his engineer, I get one of them. You know. What's just, your um? What would you describe? How would you describe your sound? My sound, just me. Like I, I can come anyway. Mm -hmm. I can females. I can go club. I can go. I go reggae, reggae, reggae mm -hmm. music. I can go Zydeco. Well, I ask because the songs I've been hearing off Instagram, they coming pretty hard. Like, it, I mean, the things you're talking about, it's, it's coming pretty hard. It's, it sounds real grimy. So it's like, this is going to be like when you drop a project, are you going to be coming like this the whole time? Or you got, how many layers are you going to hit us with on this well, really, up and coming anonymous mixtape really or album? Really what I've been doing for the gram, what I've been doing for the gram is, I've been putting content that people want to hear. I want to, what mm -hmm. people want to see. You got to look at the, the, the people that you, the people that you're going up against when you're doing music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to pick what lane you want to be in. The people that's in my market right now, that's the lane they going for. I feel like I'm going for the lane Well, I outball all you niggas. I make all you niggas go broke. You know what right. I'm saying? Trying to catch up. Trying to catch up. Because I don't think you're going to never get ready to catch up shit. I'm 15. I don't think you're going to catch up when a nigga was 15. I'm 23 now. That's Man, you're only 23? Yeah, I'm 23. Bruh. Yeah. You're only 23. Yeah. You still young. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, man, I thought you were older than that. Yeah, guy. I know, because I've been trying to let the beard grow since I got me a big truck. I bought me a little truck like a month ago. I got a big ass truck, big yeah, six wheels. You know, I've been letting the beard grow because hey, everybody I see jumping out them bitches got beards. So, shit, I'm like. <laughs> Straight up. The girls look like they won't see me with a little beard, so I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, like, what, what else do you have going on besides the music? Um, well, got some properties. Got some properties going on. You doing some real estate. Okay. Actually, start a uh, transport service or whatever. I got a business I'm starting called Richard Imports on um, Why Not See Entertainment, Why Not See Booking. Okay. That's Young Nation in Charge. I've been, I had to switch the name from Young Niggas in Charge because I ain't really just want to go all the way. Ghetto with it, mm -hmm. Young Nation in charge. You know what I'm saying? We a family. We we all together with this Young Nation in charge now. Everything, entertainment, booking, all that's me. I own that. Yeah. Okay. How long you been having that going on? I've been having all them names, LLC and everything, stamp approved, trademark, all that. Five years now. Everybody that's claiming the name, I love it. I appreciate the support, but it's just mine now. You know. I'm mm -hmm. just keeping it 100. Yeah. I'm here why not see. Shout out to Lil Fat. You know what I'm saying? If he was here, he'll be in this position. And I'm doing this for him. That's why I did it. You know, for Lil Fat. We're doing this for his kids, for his family, for my family, for all of us. Man, I can only imagine, bro, how close you guys were. But I want to, like, hear from you. Like, how close were you guys, like, <coughs> like really? I mean, like I told you, I, 
The reason why people know I'm literally is because he put me on my first song. I do it the dummy way. If you can pull it up right now, it's me and Lil Fat on that song. The first song ever in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, when we got Camaros, both of mm -hmm. us got Camaros. He got a silver one, I got a black one. His wow. dad used to get a silver car, my dad used to get a black car. You feel me? Yeah. So we was kind of the next generation of that. You know what I'm saying? And he was like a big brother to me. I got plenty of songs. He's plenty. He'll, he'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It ain't no fabrication or uh, nothing because a nigga dead or nothing. Like, Word. it's always going to be there. Like, everybody, you can look at anybody page that know him other than me. I'm going to put R.I.P. Lil Fat on my page every day. You know what I'm saying? And they going to hate me for that. But guess what? I'm going to still stay 10 times down for that. You know what I'm saying? Because he would have did the same for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. So I'm, that's why I'm carrying on the legacy. His dad like a dad to me. I call him Pops. Right. You feel me? So, just shit. We're a family. You know right. what I'm mean? saying? Right. When did you get first get your, 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 your first taste of like real hate? I know you said you had to... It was a well, so well. It wasn't a fight. Someone got crowded because they came at you wrong in, in middle school. But like when you start realizing, man, like this money really bring other problems. I mean, when you start trying to help people and they try to do snake stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lot of artists, you know. And I don't want to talk about nobody or nothing. Say nobody name. Right, right, right. But everybody, they they know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? It's a people see it for what it is. You know want to be you. That's why I got a song, you know, I'm your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Like, yeah. That's yeah. why they want to be me. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't be me, you got to be you. You got to be better than me. You feel me? Right. <laughs> right, right, right. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just, this is fucked up. So, man, like, tell me about some of the experiences that you had on the road. Man. Both call them bitches. Fucked up experiences. Fucked up bitches. Alright, check this out. Me. One, two, three. About six of us. I think about six of us. We took a little ride out there. I had a show in St. Louis. Uh, East St. Louis. I ain't gonna just say St. Louis. I ain't gonna fuck them up like that. It's Illinois. I was in East St. Louis. That's Illinois. And we for a little concert. You know, we had a nice little day in the city. I'm on the stage rapping. Police coming at me, rain that bitch. They take my nigga to jail. Bam. So, all my niggas convicted felons and shit. Like, you niggas on warrants and shit. Nigga got pistols on them, all kind of shit. You feel? Yeah. So, nigga trying to see who the driver. Nigga ain't got license at this time, all kind of shit. We 6D. Big ass brother ain't got no license. Wow. So, look. Police coming at me, take one nigga to jail. Damn, damn, my cameraman, he got a book sack on him, but he got a gun in the book sack. And he a felon. So, bam, guess what he tell the police? I'm the driver. <laughs> well, because he got license. Right. But you got a gun in your book sack and we inside a club. Bam, police going that bitch. Two Mac 11s in that bitch. <laughs> Two Mac 11s, clock with the drum. Yeah, yeah, the bitch try to rub us out on some shit, so bam. Nigga, I stuck out there, man. Nigga, I stuck out there for about four days. But I ain't gonna lie, nigga went down bad. Shout out to the niggas out there in St. Louis. This nigga show love. Nigga made stacks, so I can't stand nigga drop stacks on the nigga. Mm -hmm. Shit was so quick with the police, they let my niggas out for free on the Monday, because the shit happened on Friday. Yeah. The police did the shit so crooked, they took all my guns, still I ain't got my guns back, and everything legal. Like that's how they came to nigga shit later. Yeah. Man, he took all my took my niggas to jail, let them out Monday. I had to get the truck out. Man, that shit was so fucked up. But the best thing, nigga, learned. It was a learning experience. Nigga got that bag out the shit. And shit. It was a learning experience. Everything in the learning experience. Man, I'm trying to think. That was really the that was the fucked up part. That was the fucked up part. Man, them bitches took a nigga van, nigga ain't had no ride, nigga was over, nigga was. But niggas was getting caked, you feel me? But yeah. they took the van, all the guns, and my niggas. So we all in St. Louis, nigga ain't got no guns. Nigga ain't got no guns or no rat. Wow. So niggas who, you know, we had met and shit, nigga was fucking with a nigga. Like, nigga had dropped that bag on a nigga and shit. But man, niggas all with ain't got no license or nothing. So nigga couldn't do nothing. We fucked up. Learning experience, fucked up experiences. 
So the the whole time you were getting you were doing like a lot of features and shows while you were well, out there? Well I was out there in uh, St. Louis. I had did one little feature with some little dudes on um, Man, I, I had a, that bitch went raw. That bitch went viral too in that little city. That bitch bitch turned up uh three three problems or something like that. I think it's three problems. Man, what that little dude night, man? That nigga turned up right now too. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, might need to look at that boy Tay. That boy Nate Tay or something. That boy turned three problems or something like that. St. Louis. And say, out there in the same, my little brother was out there with us. Mm -hmm. Um, them niggas turned though. I did a little feature with them. Some nigga named Bankroll Bones out there in Watch. Shout out to Watch, you know. Shout out to my Crip family. Yeah, man. Three up top, you know what it is. Shout out to Watch, you know what the motherfucking business is, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to my nigga. Um, what that nigga? What the A Rab name was? What that little A Rab name? Young A Rab. Man, my little A Rab partner out there in St. Louis that blessed me. Um, oh yeah. At the club. Yeah, bless me at the club, the nigga at the club, bless me, and he bought a verse from yeah. the nigga. Okay. Yeah. I ain't lie, a lot of niggas, they was really just buying the features from a nigga. We had, man, nigga had did, nigga did about four or five features. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, in about three days. In three days, because we was fucked up with it. Mm -hmm. Nigga was just fucking with a nigga though. Where, um, what city is really messing with you tough? Really, my biggest market, my biggest city where I get the most love is. I'm gonna say Jackson, Mississippi first. Shout out to all my family out there, all my brothers out there. Yeah, um, Dallas. Dallas got the most love for a nigga. Um, my city, the BR. Shout out to the BR. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the BR. They fucking with a nigga strong way. Yeah. Um, shit, Mobile got a lot of man. It really the chilling circuit. Like Florida, Mississippi, Texas, Alabama, uh, Arkansas, Tennessee, man. Uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, man, Kansas. all through there, Kansas, all that. My little brother, he up, he know. Yeah, 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 my little brother tell you. Yeah, right. you know, we, yeah, I would have been all in Canada. Love, man, I've been walking down Times Square in New York City. Nigga ran up to me, man, you the trail, like, type shit. Yeah. Like, nigga, get the rapping songs to the nigga, so, man, it's just, man, I got fans all in Africa, man. It hit me charity, wow. man. You know what I'm saying? Have you been in those spots? I never been yet. I never been yet. I ain't get my passport yet. I'm kind of. I was finna go to China last, probably like last, last March, last month. But I had fucked around, got into some shit, some court shit, fucked up on some shit, and can't get the passport right now. Right, right, Type right, shit. man. <laughs> what Latrell stand for, man? Latrell, me. Well, I stand for love, loyalty, and family. As far, first and foremost, I forgot to put God on there, but I'm going to put him on there first. Because if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in right now. Shout out to God. Yeah, but at this position where I'm at right now, I ain't, ain't nobody my boss. I'm my own boss. I mean, be your own boss entertainment. <laughs> That's what I might need to start. You understand? Know right. Be your own boss entertainment. Like, shout out to uh, what the dude name is in Atlanta. He got something called Sign Yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sign Yourself. But if you're broke... He ain't got nothing but hope. You see it? You feel me? Shit. Right. <laughs> Hit the streets, there you some go. You understand? <laughs> Don't sell your soul. It's the number one thing. You understand? But look, number one thing for everybody that um, watch this video, make sure y'all stay prayed up, make sure y'all stay focused, make sure y'all get to the money first, because... At the end of the day, when everybody be talking about, oh, money don't mean nothing, woo woo, alright, how you gonna eat? How you gonna wash your ass? How you gonna, where you gonna live? Without money. Man, stay focused on your brand, man. And niggas gonna tell you you can't make it all the time. Bitches gonna tell you you ain't shit all the time. Niggas ain't gonna tell you you ain't shit all the time. It is what it is. Same cycle. Get to the money, man. Yeah? Richie! I thought it was over, 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 over.